Thank you everyone for joining me today. My name is Michael Smith. I'm the National Consumer Education Manager of Genome Canada. And yes, today I'm Hermie <laughs> coming to you live from the Genome Sewing and Learning Center in Oakville, Ontario for another Genome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. So what will we be talking about today? Well, you know, we often uh, show all the fabulous Genome machines or some of them. Oh, Cheryl, perfect timing uh, that we often show, you know, all the fabulous Genome machines because there are so many and certainly I try to share little tips and tricks on all of them, what they come with and all of that. So that's mainly why we're doing Genomi's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. But you know, Genomi, Genomi Canada specifically, has a lot of fabulous partner products. And specifically today, especially just in time for Christmas, that I wanted to share on our Genomi's Magical Machine Mystery Tour some fabulous partner products from Aero. So some Aero sewing furniture to help you use that fabulous magical machine, whatever Genome machine it is, there is Aero sewing furniture for you. Now I wanted to show you all, oh yes, here is my computer. So if you go on our genome.ca website, there you will see a beautiful ad well, perhaps I should raise this. <laughs> there you will see there. Go to genome.ca and there is an ad for Aero Furniture. So for a limited time special pricing on all in stock Aero Kangaroo assembled cabinets. So you can contact your local Genome dealer or if not, you can actually email here is our big boss, Randy Thomas <laughs> at genomicanada.com. You can email Randy and he will find you a dealer if your local dealer is not an Aero Kangaroo dealer. If they don't carry these fabulous sewing furniture items, then again, you can email uh, it's rthomas at genome dash canada.com again all the information's on our genome uh, .ca website and then randy will show you or find you a dealer close to you but also too you know you can go to the offers and promotions tab and then boom let me scroll down here to then show you again some fabulous more Ooh, there we go just in time again for all your christmas goodies there's some fabulous special offers that your genome canada dealer has right now so you could get some uh, items on your christmas list for your sewing friend or your again significant other who sews or also maybe for you so here i wanted to show you here at my ooh, classroom at the genome sewing and learning center i have the fabulous arrow this is the mod cabinet system. So this mod system, you'll see my Continental M7 is there under the table, but it's this very big table. There's this wonderful extension there at the back. So lots of room if you're a sewer, a quilter, garment sewer, uh, lots of room. And then next to it is this beautiful five drawer chest. I absolutely love this. Now, dare I show you inside because, ooh, it's not nearly as clean and organized as it normally is. But the wonderful thing I love about this five drawer cabinet from Aero is that these are shallow drawers. So even though I now have a lot of stuff just jumbled in there because I've been quite busy, so I just kind of throw everything in there and then I neaten it all up later. But they're shallow drawers, so that way you're not going to get everything lost in there. So that's really good. Now, you know, from the outside here when it's all closed up no but it just looks like a dresser or another piece of furniture nobody has to know that oh this is where you hide all your sewing goodies again you can just throw everything in there but you're not going to lose it all because they're nice shallow drawers so that's really really good and when you pair it with this mod cabinet system here that again that it gives you some extra space to grow your project now, when I move this over here, we are going to be doing a lot of moving camera work here because Amanda could not come in to help me. <laughs> so I hope no one's going to be sick with me moving the camera around. Uh, but yes, what I love about this mod cabinet here is we can use it as a piece of furniture even. This could be a buffet for your holiday uh, entertaining. The door will come out and slide, oops, slide closed. So no one has to know that there is 
a sewing machine in there. So like, look at that. It's all nice and streamlined, all nice and sleek. So no one has to know that there is a sewing machine in there. But when you're ready to sew, again, you pull out this, oops, make sure the wheel is not locked. <laughs> you pull this out and then you lift off this lid. And then this is what I love. When I saw we got these in, I'm like, I have to have that. So look at this beautiful Continental M7, or it could be any machine. It doesn't have to be Continental M7. Any machine can go in this mod cabinet. Now there is an acrylic insert that you can get uh, for your M7, or again, whatever machine that you have, so you could get the insert, and then that way, boom, you're, you're good to go. So it's there when you're ready to sew, or then you retract it and put it back in the table when you don't need it, or would you would like that table surface for some more creating. Uh, again, there's a big leaf at the back there, so lots of room for your quilting and sewing, so I absolutely love it. Now, the cool thing about this whole mod sewing furniture, sewing cabinets, that you can get more components to them. You can get uh, thread racks, you can get uh, corner cabinets as well. So you can totally design a whole new sewing room, whatever your space uh, configuration. Now, also with these uh, arrow cabinets, I love using who the arrow sewing chairs here. Now they come in two types. There's the hydraulics and there's the the four-legged uh, wooden chairs. So here is the hydraulic uh, chairs that are in the fabulous Janome fabric. There are so many different prints and colors and I use these not only at my sewing uh, stations, but I use one of these arrow chairs at my uh, desk here in my office that when I'm working on my computer, it's a really comfortable chair. The lumbar support is just where you need it. Uh, because of the hydraulics, again, you can raise and lower the chair as, as needed. And of course, one thing we all love about these arrow chairs is this secret little compartment there in all of the arrow chairs. So you can stash some goodies, some Christmas presents and all of that in there. Uh, you know, for Halloween, stash the Halloween candy in there. So how perfect is that? Or again, you're really fighting for space. How about throwing in some of your sewing supplies? And then that way you always have them. So the arrow sewing chairs are something else that you could get from your fabulous Janome dealer and they really do make a big difference. Uh, the, the more comfortable you are when you're sewing, then the, the longer you can sew and the, the more professional your, your results. So this is why Janome Canada has partnered with uh, Aero sewing cabinets uh, again, because then again, the, the, you sew in comfort, you can sew longer and your results are better. Oh, Sylvia, it is great to see you. Thank you for joining me today. So I will spin around. We're going to go, whoops, on a little tour. Oh, there's my messy desk. <laughs> and we're going to go on a little tour today. And you will see, oh yes, here's my classroom at the Janome Sewing and Learning Center. And you will see at every station, I have room for eight. Ultimately, whenever COVID restrictions allow, uh, we will have eight in this classroom. And you will see at every station, there is a hydraulic aero sewing chair. Now, a lot of people don't realize as well that there are some very uh, subdued uh, fabrics. This is very uh, textural uh, in this beautiful red, but again, the same uh, seat that opens up the same little secret compartment. Uh, but yeah, the arrow chairs, then yes, we've got that beautiful Janome fabric, but we also have in the plain red, for example. And then we also have, ooh, at this station here, again, there is a blue one or the purple one. So then again, it doesn't always have to be the wild, you know, colorful print. So depending on your decor, but uh, depending on your style, there's an arrow chair for you. This one I love. This is the cosplay. Whoops. This is the cosplay one, which is very fun seeing with all the, the sugar skulls there and even the little detail around, maybe if I hold it up, you'll see the little detail there of like the skulls. Isn't that adorable? 
And again, you can see, oh, I'm lifting this aero chair with one hand. <laughs> so they're very sturdy, but again, they're not super, super heavy. They're all on wheels, so they can easily move around. And again, these are the hydraulic chairs. So regardless of your desk, your sewing table, then you can get it to accommodate for you. So again, more beautiful sewing notions ones, or again, this is one of the more textured fabric, again, just in like the, the whoops, tan or the, the beige one. So again, it will work with any decor, with any style. So there is an aero sewing chair for you. So double check with your Janome dealer. So yes, when we come out here, that, you know, the sewing and learning center, yes, I have my classroom, but I've kind of taken over the whole space here because when we have actually classes and retreats uh, as we're planning on having, then yes, we need lots of room. So right outside my door here, you will see I love this Dixie cutting table. Now, right now, one of the leaves is up, but normally that leaf at the back will go down and this table is very skinny so this is perfect it just comes up here against the wall i could even put some you know books or a plant on it nobody has to know it's really double duty cutting table so we can lift this up here and we've got a leg support underneath on both sides so now i've got this beautiful generous cutting surface so the great thing is we can get a cutting mat that can go on top of it and boom. So this is where I can do all my cutting. I can square up my quilts. I can do, you know, cut out my garments. Uh, if I need an extra table to sew on, you know, that we can easily put up this uh, Dixie cutting table, but then we can drop it down, tuck it away in the corner up against the wall, and it doesn't take up any space. There are some uh, two shelves below, so you can put all your baskets of supplies, all your cutting tools, everything and then again collapse it and take it out of the way so that is another piece from arrow so that is very convenient uh also ooh, here with this beautiful cover pro 3000 sitting on it this is the kangaroo 2 sewing cabinet so yes i could recess a sewing machine in here but instead i have the cover pro 3000 sitting on top so you can use the sewing cabinets in two ways you can either put a machine on top or you can take out the insert and recess the machine so then it's a, a flatbed uh, depending on what the machine is and then again you get an insert to then fit around that sewing machine uh, again we've got another fabulous aero chair sitting up at the sewing cabinet but this is one of the four-legged aero chairs and you'll see the beautiful scallop detail and then again you can get many different finishes that again it can come in white or in wood tones this is the soft blue with the fun sewing notions print again that same fabulous little secret compartment so that's really cute so this will tuck up beautifully to our kangaroo 2 uh, sewing cabinet but as part of this sewing cabinet, which is available separately, is oh, this cute little, isn't that adorable, this Joey 2 chest of drawers. Isn't that cool? Ooh, isn't that cool? And we can, again, there's even a lock here, so we can lock this drawer again, stash some goodies in there. But this is great. We can use this independently. It comes separately from the sewing table so we can use this separately or we can tuck it in underneath to again save some space what i love to oh look at what comes with the arrow furniture yes our cute little kangaroo with again the little joey that's in the pocket here so this uh, guy's name is actually his named pockets <laughs> so he comes with the furniture they're so cute so you can tuck pockets in the drawer with many of your sewing supplies and then again you can just tuck that out of the way underneath your kangaroo 2 sewing cabinet so when you're fighting for space you know arrow is so great to design to fit your space and you can make the most for your sewing uh here let's do another tour oh as usual time is racing by 
something else I absolutely love right outside my door. This is my cutting table here at the Genomi, Genomi Sewing and Learning Center. When I saw this, I begged my boss, please could I have one here? Because I absolutely love it. It is so functional. Look at all those fabulous drawers for storage. And again, we've got the cutting mat on top. So this is where we can do all of our cutting. Now there are some doors that will cover these drawers. So again, from the outside, it looks like a piece of furniture. There is a big leaf that is set up currently at the back. That leaf could ultimately be dropped down and again, save space, tuck this up against the wall. Uh, again, we could put some uh, a plant on it, some books, some picture frames. Nobody has to know that it's actually a cutting table. Uh, we could tuck the cutting mat up against the wall, or again, it could slide under the bed even if need be. Now, one reason I love this, ooh, dick, or this is the um, Dingo 2 cutting station. That yes, I love this because then all my cutting supplies there. So again, you can be more efficient. You can sew faster, easier, get more done, the more organized and efficient that you are. So all of your cutting tools can go in one drawer. Uh, this is how I organize some of my scraps that I cut them all up into squares and strips and then store them. Again, nice shallow drawers. This is how you can stay organized. If you have these shallow drawers, to store things so you don't lose anything. So to store your supplies or store your scraps, I've got a whole drawer here of stabilizer and fabric when I want to do a quick embroidery sample. Again, I've got that all here in the drawer or especially one of my favorite drawers ooh, is this one here at the bottom. Oh, for all my batting left over, you know, you've got all those little scraps after you finish a quilt, you've got little scraps left over. I save everything. And this way, again, when you want a quick little sample, uh, you want to do some mug rugs, things like that, a jelly roll rug, you've got your batting all there. You know where it is. It's out of the way. So it's really good to have to, again, stay organized and that way you can be more productive and more creative. Now, another piece of furniture I have out here is this Wallaby 2 sewing cabinet. And again, uh, we could recess a machine into it, but instead, this is where I store the fabulous 550E. Now, there is a big leaf at the back of the table that I can pull the uh, sewing cabinet away from the wall. I can put up that leaf, so that way I've got more room for my embroidery machine. We've got room, look at all those beautiful Janome embroidery threads, so that way every color we need is at our fingertips. So that's great. Again, another of the wooden leg uh, arrow sewing chairs, this one in the uh, wood finish. So again, they will match any decor. So this Wallaby 2 sewing cabinet, it just keeps going on and on and on because we can open this door and then pop this leaf over. So if you had a serger and you use this for your sewing machine, for example, your sewing machine could recess here and then this could be for your serger. So all you have to do is just pivot your arrow sewing chair and then boom, you could be at your serger. So again, that you're really maximizing your time. You're really maximizing your space. Uh, there's room down here for all my embroidery hoops for my 550E, all the supplies we need. Oh yes, we've got our cute little Joey in there. So yes, that we can tuck all of the supplies we need for the machine. Uh, even down here is where I keep the big, uh, this is the big, ooh, 7.9 by 14.2 embroidery hoop. Then we can tuck that in under the machine so it stays there. Again, everything we need for the machine is in one place. We don't have to go searching for anything. And you will see, I have this set up here. It's actually in a hallway. And there's my uh, HD9 actually. And I was just sewing on that this morning. Uh, so yes, even in a hallway, this is a functional space. This is our office space as well as uh, being the sewing and learning center. Uh, this is our Genomi Canada headquarters. So uh, the rest of the staff, you know, work here as well. So space is at a premium. So even I have the sewing stations technically in a hallway, but again, this the arrow sewing furniture really doesn't take up a lot of room and it allows me to use the machine when I need. And then again, I tuck the table up against the wall and that it's not in anyone's way. So no matter what size space, 
You can always get a piece of aero furniture that will help maximize that space and maximize your sewing. So yes, let's go back to, ooh, so you see a little tour of the Sewing and Learning Center. So yes, we'll come back into my classroom because as always, the time flies by. So I want to encourage you all as a fast and furious little tour of the Sewing and Learning Center, uh, but also to see some of the fabulous Aero Kangaroo sewing cabinets that are here and then again available from your local Genomi Canada dealer. So I encourage you all to double check with your dealer and see what they have to offer. Again, if you don't have a dealer near you, you can always email again rthomas at genomi-canada.com and Randy will find you a dealer uh, that will have all of these cabinets that you're interested in. Again, double check, uh, go to our genomi.ca website for more information. And thank you all for joining me today uh, from the Genomi Sewing and Learning Center. And I will see you all ooh, next week. Can you believe it? Next week, next Saturday is the big day. Uh, but I will see you before then on Wednesday for another Genomi's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. And again, what will I be talking about? Oh, I don't know. It's a mystery, so you must tune in. So thank you everyone for joining me today and I hope you have a fabulous day. I will see you next week. Bye.